Okay. It's me, Gerald Reynolds. Just an earthling like everybody else. This is October 6, 2010. And man, have I got a bitch about you. Not about you. <laughs> I'm just so sick and tired of religion. I really am. I'm so sick and tired of people using perfectly good brain cells and destroy them with drivel. Like silly, goofy rules of what to do with your body when you're a child or not to do or do to your child's body or what the, you know, all of it has this weird, uh, usually sexual control issue undertones, religions do. And uh, here we see it manifested in America like no place else. It's crazy. I mean, we have our theocracies across the seas. We have our Muslim countries. It's just one religion, but not belong to another one. Uh, you know, even Israel. If you're not a Jew, you can't be a citizen. Tell me that isn't a theocracy. What the fuck kind of democracy is that? It's amazing. Everywhere you look. And then we come along. And we, you know, as as our founding fathers were very free thinking, uh, individualistic. Uh, I think most mostly uh, agnostic, if not atheist. They will use other words, deism, or this, the. I think they're just trying to hide because that means a lot of trouble for a man in the 19th and 18th century. Okay, if you had no kind of a, of a religion or, or something, you told people that you didn't believe in God, whew, bam, your life might as well be over. So, you gotta do something when you're intelligent, free thinking, and realize that they're just discussing magic and nothing else. Nothing new under the sun, just more of the same magic they've been spouting for thousands of years. And then here we have all these, like I said, countries. United States one of the worst because we were founded on a, a whole ideal of uh, persecution being a bad thing, oppression, suppression of minority person being a bad thing. To put it in very simple terms, we grew as a nation to be able to, to, to determine each and every one of our own individual life. And, and determine it in the way we see fit, as long as that does not invade someone else's space, or within its parameters hurt someone else or whatever. Okay, it's that simple. And it's not a god; it's not a deity. That's me, the earthling. That's kind of like how I live my life. It's, it's like, for one thing, if if you don't own it, it's not yours. <laughs> Right? And if it's not yours, don't take it. Just because you can, that doesn't mean you should. Anyway, let me get back to this whole thing about the religion deal, blah, 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 and the Westboro Baptist Church, who we all hate and despise. Because what are they doing? By golly, they're out there doing what they're supposed to do. I know you're going to hate me. You're going to hear a million emails about this one. But they've read their Bible, and they know what they're doing. Their Bible tells them these things that they have on their placards. Kill the infidels, the non-believers, blah, the whole thing. It's all out of the same book. You believe. You, as our citizens of the United States, thought it would be nice to be a Judeo-Christian democracy. It can't work. We're not Judeo-Christian. I mean, I, I hate. I hated having to say one nation under God because I knew better when I was a kid. When we changed that, I knew better. I don't want to say that. It's crazy. And then it's in all our money and God we trust. Blah blah blah. It's insidious. Now we have a president who was brought up by a free-thinking atheist soul who's just. Did agree with it. But what's he do? Comes out here and not only last year blabs about how, even though the, I'm a Christian, the, we are not a Christian nation, just like the president, like Adam said. 
we are not a Christian nation. We are not born one nation under God. That was added into the pledge in the 50s. And you know it. We're not a nation under God. We're one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And I demand accountability, Mr. Obama. We need freedom from religion. We've already seen the freedom of religion. Now we got a building that's sucking our eye, you know, and bloody in our nose with a mosque by the 9-11 site. Everybody knows why they're building it. They're, you, know, they're, you know what they're doing. Everybody does. And then you get the, the, you get that, you think that's too bad. Then you've got this Westboro Baptist Church. These people, they're doing what their texts, their religions that everybody's supposed to, you have to respect someone else's beliefs, you know. No, sorry, I do not, and I will not respect any delusional belief, especially when they bring the, the, the cause and destruction they've brought. All religions, that's all they are. They're triggers and ammunition for, for destruction. It's sickening. Fodder for your weapons. Man. Unbelievable. And then right after all this crap, we have our president anyway. Uh, in this day and age, saying that he was a Christian and that we were born uh, that we are a nation under God. He said it out loud. I'm done with him. I will not vote for him in 2012. I urge the rest of the people that know me to write in somebody, you know, uh, somebody with some real uh, sense of real worth. How about uh, me? How about it? How about me? I'm just an earthling. Invite me to be president. I'd love to have the job at half the pay. Yes, right. I said half the pay. And I think I know my contract law well enough. Anyway, think about the Baptist Church. They're doing exactly what the Bible tells them to do, and you can't refute that. So what you need to do, especially, I call on all the atheists and agnostics, any people out there, I believe, your faith thinkers, that know what they're doing, that know what's up, make signs twice the size as, their, as theirs, or a big wall of butcher paper, and put our types of slogans on there, atheist slogans, you know, humanist slogans, and wrap them all the way around these idiots and their signs, so they can't be seen. Why don't you do that? Are you out there? Can y'all do that, maybe? Can that work? Do your own chant. There's plenty of us. You know, but uh, Westboro, the Christians out there, they don't have any right to bitch. They don't have any right to say anything. They want a theocracy. This is what it's like. This is how it could be if that's what they want. Except for these people would be going in and arresting those people for blasphemy. Which, by the way, is, I guess, illegal to do in the United Nations property and they can actually jail you for it. It's just... Please, we cannot let ignorance dictate our humanity and it's strive for a good, valid civilization. Don't let him do that. Don't, don't, don't let myth drag us down, please, folks. See you later. They're just telling the truth. You just don't want to admit it. It's the way your book says it. I'm sorry. It's full of murder and mayhem anyway. And, uh, this fool here, he's no different than all the rest. He just says it word for word. Doesn't much, doesn't much around with it or anything. You know, just says like it says in the Bible. I will smite you, such a all along. So, get a grip, take a breath, and get down there and anti-protest. Good evening. Yeah, I'm just like you know me.